Hello YouTubers. Today I'm going to show you how to set up multiple HTZ Safe T804 and 804A transmitter and receiver, complete setup configuration, and understanding what is required during setup. Whether you have one receiver and one transmitter, or three receivers and multiple transmitters, this should take care of everything. So let's go through the hardware requirements. First, you're gonna get a transmitter. That's what this unit is here. It looks like the owl, you've all have seen them if you've been looking for these. Inside, you're gonna see an H. Hopefully that is coming through, an H there and an L. Those are the distances, uh, intensity or frequency. H is for 50 feet and L is for up to 35 feet. So this unit here is set up for high intensity or 50 feet. You will insert three AAA batteries in there. Once you make your selection, just slide that little toggle switch to H or L. Load in your batteries, and then you're gonna install this backing plate on here. And when you do, I recommend that you tighten the top screws first because there's a weather seal around here. See that? And by tightening the top screws first, you'll make a good seal across the top. Any rain that goes in should just come right out the bottom. It should not even penetrate, but you'll put the screws on top first and then put the screws on the bottom. This is the ball swivel attachment and this is the socket. So what happens is you will have a unit that looks like this. This is already put together and you will mount this piece on your tree or your post. And then this just snaps on, there we go. It just snaps on and you can mount that and pivot it in any direction you want according to your requirements, okay? So that takes care of the hardware configuration. To mount the ball on the back of this unit, you're gonna use the short screws that come in this package of hardware. You'll get some long screws and you'll get some short screws, some drywall anchors, but it's the short screws that you want to attach the ball to the unit and give them a good sock down. Be careful because it's plastic, okay? How do you know if your motion detector is working? In the back, there's a little indicator. When you have motion, that little red light will illuminate. So I have two units here to show you my setup. And if I move my hand in front of that one, that one's glowing, that one's glowing. So we know that my transmitters are working properly. I have two different transmitters. I have one for the garage and one for the front door. So let's go through the receivers. I have three receivers. I have a ranch, so I wanna make sure I can hear from one end of the house to the other. Receiver number one, receiver number two, receiver number three. We're gonna go ahead and configure these receivers to the transmitters. So let's plug in receiver number one. Okay. When you first plug it in, you'll notice there's a musical note there that's tones and volume, okay? So you can set your volume in your bedroom. You don't want it blaring, but you wanna be able to hear it. That's the lowest tone. And that's the loudest. So it goes from lowest to lowest, okay? Loudest to lowest. And then the tones, there's 32 preset tones in this unit. Um, so you can select, there's four voice activated tones, but what you wanna do is you wanna cycle through. The first one is a doorbell, okay? And then the next one is a dog bark, <laughs> kind of ironic. And then the next th four are voice activated. Driveway. Front door. Front door. Backyard. Backyard. Garage. Garage. And then a series of other tones. 
So we'll cycle through until we get back to the beginning. Okay, so that's the second one. The next one is gonna be driveway. Front door. We're going to configure our transmitter for front door. So I want to find the one that is set up for front door. Front door. And what you want to do now door. is you want to press and hold the volume button until the setup thing comes along. As soon as you press, it's going to ding. But you got to hold it for three to five seconds and wait for setup mode. Front door. There you go, setup mode. Wave motion in front of whatever, front door. whatever motion detector you want for front door. And that now is set up. So if you wave your hand in front of that, front door. front door. So that one is set up for front door. So that's receiver number one. Unplug it, plug in receiver number two. Okay, select front door, go through the tones. That's the first one. Dog is second. Driveway. Front door. Front door. Okay, so this one is ready. This is receiver number two, ready for front door. Press and hold the volume button. Front door. Setup mode, wave, create motion. Front door. So this unit, front door, is now configured to receiver front door. number two. So now let's do receiver number three. So receiver number one and receiver number two are set up for front door. Receiver number three. Okay, we will press tone. Driveway. Front door. Front door. Okay, press and hold the volume button. Front door. Setup mode. Create motion. Front door. Okay, test it. Front door. Okay, receiver number three is all set up. For front door so receiver one two and three are now set up for front door all right so we have those three done now we're going to do garage so we take the garage motion detector it's got a g on there i'll take these tapes off afterwards put in receiver number one okay go through the tones Okay, garage. Press and hold the volume button. Garage. Okay, create motion. Garage. Great. Receiver number one, test it. Garage. Okay, receiver number one is all set up. Receiver number two. By now, you should be getting the idea of what's going on. Select a tone. Front door. Backyard. Garage. Garage. Press and hold the volume button. Garage. Get into setup mode. Okay, we're in setup mode. Create motion. Garage. Okay. Test. All right, receiver number two, set up for garage. Repeat for receiver number three. Okay, select a tone. Driveway. Front door. Backyard. Garage. Garage. Press and hold the volume button. Garage. 
setup mode, create motion. Okay, that tone is not the tone we want. Okay, garage, press and hold the setup button. I don't know what happened there, but I'm glad it happened. So you can see, go back into setup for garage. Okay, create motion. Garage. Okay, test it. Garage. There you go. So please like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, Give me any comments that you want. I've gone through all the hardware that's applied, the configuration of the high, uh, high definition and low, sorry, high distance, 50 feet or more, or up to 50 feet, low for third, up to 35 feet, which I typically use. You're gonna want something in that close range. Label your re receivers as I have done uh any way you want tape or whatever but these are going to be indoors and then once you get these configured just go ahead and mount them outside and they're uh weatherproof so i hope this video has helped please leave me a comment thumbs up like i said subscribe y'all have a good night